Hello everyone. So welcome back to your own channel that is we are Deku One. And in this video, I would like to discuss the next type of kernel that is micro kernel. Right. So without wasting any time, just start the micro kernel. So as the name suggests, that micro micro means that is small in size. So uh, it is one of the like classification the type of kernel and in case of micro kernel like as you could see like two spaces are there user space and the kernel space right and all the services which were in case of monolithic kernel we were having the main services or the main essential services in the kernel space just like memory uh, just like memory management file management process management scheduling management right all the essential services were in the kernel space. But in case of this micro kernel, all the services, essential services, has been shifted into the kernel space. As you could see, like the user is giving command with the help of this application software. After that, for supporting that application software, we are having some kind of libraries. But like as soon as the shell is giving or providing the commands or uh, like uh, uh, exactly what exactly the user wants to perform as soon as it would be given like to the shell then shell would provide it to the kernel space but in case of kernel space only the main functions are there just like memory scheduling right and the system call like uh, shell is giving some commands and system call is actually like converting it into the set of commands, right? So that means only the main basic functions are into the kernel space and rest all the functions, just like file management and uh, we could say security management, process management has been shifted into the user space. So that is why the, the size of the kernel is being small, right? So that is why we are saying that in case of micro kernel the size is small so that is why it is compatible but like uh, uh, as uh, you could check over here that being a kernel it manages all the system resources but it is divided into two spaces right just like user space and the kernel space in each and every kernel obviously it would be divided into two spaces but this time in case of micro like all the essential services would be shifted into the user space and the only basic function of the kernel would remain same into the kernel space, right? So that means with the help of this, what we could include in case of advantages that as the extension of the operating system is much easier. Why it is much easier? Because like if new system wants to add into the user space then it could be done right how it could be done because each and every essential service in the user space so that is why the new service could be added right so this is one of the advantage of micro kernel which could not be done in case of monolithic right because each and everything was being performed in the kernel space and to add any service into the like, kernel space is quite difficult right so this kind of flexibility is being given into the micro kernel right and the another advantage is like kernel because of the like um, shifting of the all essential functions into the user space the kernel size becomes small the kernel size becomes small right so this is one another advantage then the third advantage would be like the changing maintenance right and the modification into the user space and the kernel space is easier right so these all are the advantages of micro kernel right so hope you have understood right so please do like this video and if you liked it then please do comment in the below comment box so hope you have liked it so thank you thank you so much